So in this episode, we are going to learn about the policies. And in the last episode, we had learned about the gates. And gates and policies are come under the umbrella of authorization to give access to particular user according to our system. So with that, welcome back to Bitfumes and I'm your host Sarthak. This is a channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So let's see how we can create policies and what firstly what is the difference between gate and policy. As I have told you, you have defined gate directly here and all the information is here but it is very annoying if you have lots of gate here suppose you have two gate then you can see it's difficult to manage these gates so it's just similar to the routes we create these in these logics we can put on the controller but instead of controller i have just defined it here so this is called a closer if we give the function and similarly here we are defining that closer type gates here all the function or the logic is inside gate only but we can move these logic in a separate system like we are doing on the controllers called policies so here is the policies we have to generate policy so let's create a, or generate a policy i will say php addison make policy and policy name is subscriber or i will simply say subs okay so our policy is really created next is what we have to register policies so you can see in this auth service provider we have to register policy like this so i will go to my auth service provider and here you can see one policy is already defined so i will say app slash user this is the model and my policy name is subs you can define like this and like this also so you can define user model like this user colon colon class okay and now we have to include this at the top so use it at the top this subs also at the top so you can see user is also used subs policy or is also used so now we can use these policies as on our gates so how we can use these policies and how we will connect gates via uh, these policies so you can see we have this gate subs only and we have this function so instead of doing this i will move this thing in my subs policy so i will create a function called subs only and that should be underscore okay and here i will get the user and give every other information i have or the logic i have on the gates and now this time I will make everything inside my policy so I will say subs at subs underscore only let's see how it look like so policies filter no defining policy on the gates so you can see we can define like this as I have told you similar exactly similar to the route we define so in the route we will define the controller but here in the gate we will define the policy okay so simple and let's once more try to access all these things so refresh and it says something because of error class subs does not exist okay so it's having some problem so why can't we do like this so if we do like this that will also work and there is some problem i think with the level 5.5 because it's not released it's a development version so maybe some problem is here but you can use this policies like this so if i go now refresh you can see now we don't have that subscribe button here but if i log in as bitfumes in the last episode as we have saw that you can see oops now 
go and you can see now we have the subscribe button so this thing is very clean very short and every logic of yours is on this policies and you can create as much as you want so next thing is that you can see as we can create the resource route we can create a resource gate also in this way if I do this thing like this define post and that should be our this policy so this policy and post or I will say subs then it will be like subs dot view subs dot create subs dot update subs dot delete every crud part and to generate a policy with the crud part you have to specify the model in that case you don't have to do anything just give the model name and that will give you the gates with the crud information so let's just create this policy so i will copy this and i will paste it but as we don't have this post model so firstly i think we have to create that model and i will say php artisan make model called post and post model is now created now paste this and that should be post policy and i will hit enter and yeah we have now the post policy here and with the post model and the user model both is here and you can see the view the create update delete every crud part is here so we you can just use this like subs dot view okay so if you are thinking that it should be limited to crud part you're wrong because here you can see you can actually define some other gates also so like if you want subs dot premium then you will do like this you have to give an array which is like this so you will say subs dot premium okay and just define what it will do it will be on the function of let's say premium so this function will comes on your this policy so you will create a new function called premium and you will do work as you done on the controller system so all these things are very easy to use try all these things and if you have any doubt please feel free to message me and comment me on youtube and we will meet in the next episode with some new features advanced features of the level so till then don't forget to share this video so that everyone get the knowledge of best thing called level and don't forget to subscribe like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram and if you have learned something from bitfumes you want to donate then you can donate via patreon and you can donate even one dollar a month only that will all depend upon you but i will keep teaching you all these things so that you will get the best thing and easy way okay so we will meet in the next episode till then Goodbye.